friends, it's Tim and Helen with Wine About Real Estate and today we want to talk to you about how to avoid post-closing issues. Absolutely, post-closing issues is pretty important because we get a lot of calls um, after closing. So uh, we tell everyone, you know, I think we do talk about this a lot, um, mm -hmm. you know, make sure to get an inspection. Yeah. Uh, please don't leave it again even if you are if you're writing an aggressive offer or if you're writing an offer with no due diligence or right to inspect mm -hmm. we still tell our clients to do an inspection so you just know what you're purchasing yeah mm -hmm. and make sure you understand your hoa covenants if it's applicable if you're looking to buy a property to rent make sure mm -hmm. it doesn't have rental restriction because you don't want that issue as soon as uh, after you you close and you can't rent it out yeah. right? so if you, it's very important for you to tell us if you're a buyer that uh, if you are ever planning on uh, you know renting your property, so that we can figure out if there is any rental restrictions in your HOA. Yeah, if you buy an, uh, an older home or even newer homes, you know, have sure uh, make sure you have a home warranty, just in case uh, anything goes wrong, vehicles, yeah. appliances, things like that. It's like health insurance for your house. Basically, yeah. it's good security to have. And if you need a home warranty policy, even after close closing, you can always give us a call and we'll definitely help you out with that. We have a lot of great home warranty companies out there that we partner with. Yeah. But yeah, um, uh, we have a lot of, we, we stress this with our clients, but again, uh, we can't force our clients to, or of course our buyers to, but uh, need a final walkthrough. Yeah. Uh, don't be surprised that, you know, we get some calls and they're like, hey, I don't need to do the final walkthrough. We try to do it ourselves. Yes. Uh, at least we, we try to go and try to do our, you know, final walkthrough, but we've had clients where they're like, uh, this is... Something, something's missing, something's damaged. Yeah. You just don't want those issues at the end of the day. Right, and if you had repairs, negotiate mm -hmm. it with the seller. Uh, you wanna make sure that it's taken care of. Make sure the house is clean mm -hmm. and good condition for you, right? Absolutely. Um, make sure you set up utilities as well on the day of closing. Day of closing, you yeah. guys. Mm -hmm. Not the day after. No. <laughs> on the day, day of, of closing. closing. So we have a lot of clients who are like, oh, I don't have the, where's my water? Where's my power? And we're like, <laughs> Uh, they're like, oh, we set it up for tomorrow, and I'm like, no, no. <laughs> uh, sellers tend to, uh, you know, uh, tend to disconnect their utilities on the closing day, so we want to make sure that you do have electrical, power, gas, whatever you need. Yep, um, and then you know, communicate with your realtor, with us, um, to get all the information from the seller, especially any existing warranties, any um, manuals on appliances, things like that that you may need in the future. Um, just obtain that from the seller if they have it. Yeah, we tell everyone to Google the appliances and stuff like that. But you know, sometimes you want a warranty. Like we, uh, there's been foundational repairs. If there's a pool, if there's some kind of maintenance issue, we want to make sure that you uh, that they all get transferred over. Yep. Yeah. And the biggest one. So in Georgia, title insurance, the owner's title insurance is an optional product. Uh, you know, the attorney will ask you, do you want to purchase title insurance? So what title does. Uh, it's a one-time fee at closing, yep. and basically it protects you from any future litigation or someone coming out and saying, "Hey, this is my property. How did you end up by purchasing my property?" <laughs> uh, we've had uh, we've had a case uh, where uh, the uh, I believe it was the uh, the the, the, nephew, the had, nephew had sold uh, had forged his parent uh, his uncle's signature and sold the property. So uh, that, the title company actually stepped in and re, you know. Uh, and basically reimbursed yeah. our, uh, our seller, which wasn't really the seller, but it, it's, it's title insurance. So make sure to get that. We'll be more than happy to explain what title insurance it is, but definitely get it. it it'll save you in the future. So yeah. with that, thank you so much for yeah. following us, subscribing to us, yep. giving us more wine. Uh, you know, we like, we like our crisp wines over the summer. Oh yeah, this is so yeah. refreshing. Yeah. So thank Until you. Until next week, Absolutely. cheers.